Hi. Hi, welcome. Please do come in. So this is your new office? <laughs> yes, we moved here from three years ago, just, uh, just uh, before the COVID start. So what happened the last three years? Well, it's a hard time, but I'm happy that uh, we moved here because uh, we have a larger space, uh, as well as uh, we have more new employees and uh, more new products. It's a really amazing office. When I, when I walked to come in, there's like so many uh, amazing buildings around and more and more coming. So where are we now? Uh, we are in the innovation park of Shenzhen, uh, near Xili. Actually, uh, uh, unfortunately or fortunately, uh, many big, uh, big giants <laughs> are our neighborhoods. Big giants, like just before you told me like DGI, DGI is right there. Yeah. With, it, it's an amazing building. It looks like a drone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Okay. Okay. Please. You can see we have nice view here, but uh, we have a nicer product here. <laughs> All right. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's up? So here, there's some mountains in the back. Oh, yes. And huge building on the other side. Yeah, and uh, also many uh, construction uh, are building, uh, uh, are doing right now. So your future neighbors are coming to yeah. live there soon. Yeah, here is, uh, is the <coughs> meeting room. Right. Here, your customers to come and have some meetings. Yeah. This is an uh, uh, important one. That is a showing room. We only show the 20% or 30% of our product here. We have more, but uh, we don't want to show on the more here. So um, single board computer, developer boards, some box PC, ARM-based, tablet PC, ARM-based, dongle, OTT box, very old product, TV tuners. Everything you do is ARM? Yeah. Related with the ARM. Yeah. And also a bunch of accelerators and stuff like that. That might be something else or but it's always an ARM somewhere on the yeah. board. S something uh, connected to the ARM related. And there's those that you were showing at the embedded world. Yeah. Let's use Raspberry uh, Pi style. Yeah. Um, Pi uh, alternative uh, products with Pi form factor, but uh, with a different SOC on board, then you will never have a shortage issue anymore <laughs> nice because people can't buy the pie it's just not available yeah sometimes and then you have these other formats coming one more thing is uh, our um, uh, our <coughs> pie and um, replacement uh, boards um, many of them are uh, uh, industrial uh, level nice so ready for longevity and uh, wide temperature range nice and you have some good partnership going on with the rock chip uh, last few years? Yes, it must be. Yeah. Because uh, they, they are, they are, I have a feeling that they are, have a huge success, the rock chip. They have so many solutions and they, they call it AIoT space and there's a lot of work to be done in there. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> because they are, uh, they are open their mind and they support us in uh, some co other customer like us in a different industry and do a very uh, vertical market uh, applications. That is good. Nice. Yeah, those things are something new. Uh, that's e-ink based uh, notebooks with pencil. So we have, uh, right now we have uh, four models. That is the uh, old one and the other three new one. New one. Different uh, size as well as a different uh, thickness. Nice. This seems super thin and nice. Very optimized, huh? Yeah, so this, uh, it's an entry level, 9.7 inch only. But uh, no so big difference with a 10 inch and a 10.3 inch. But uh, the, on the cost level, there, there, uh, there has um, a significant difference. On the cost. My dream for many years when I've seen these kind of devices is, is always to see affordable cost. That's the key, affordable, yes. The product is, is really nice and the feeling, look and feel and the, of the pencil and, as, uh, and also for the, for the panel is very good. But um, must be more affordable. 
especially for the uh, young kids, for the young students. For sure, for businessmen, no problem for 400 US dollars, but for the for students, maybe uh, 300 or 200 is much better. Oh my God, that future is going to be so nice. No. We, we need I to don't do know more when. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know when we can reach that, yeah. that level, but uh, we are coming to, the, uh, to that direction. Uh, we, we need to do more videos about this in the future, right? Yes. I hope. And, and here when I see um, some, some world map, it's showing your, your different offices and presence, uh, partnership? Or? Th that need to be uh, upgraded. We, 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 we will have a new one. But uh, for sure, uh, we have a Beijing office and Anhui office and Shenzhen office. Right now, we are in the Shenzhen office is the headquarter. We have uh, 13, uh, 1300 square meters. In the Anhui, we have uh, 1,100 square meters, um, excluding factory, only the R&D center. That is only the R&D center and the whole headquarter wow. office. Uh, factory we have, but uh, this time I don't, I, don't, I don't have time to show you the factory yeah. that is uh, 10 miles away. And how do they work together? Like it's easy for them to work from far away or they have specific projects over there and specific projects here? We're project oriented. So the uh, team, uh, team member um, working together, but in different uh, locations, sharing same project management software. All right. Okay, let's go. Small meeting room one, small meeting room two. And here we come to our internal space of our office that is uh, HR all right internal meeting room the sales team is here and the marketing team over there all right we have a uh, Small corner for procurement team. Right. Oh, many samples. And here is the uh, very important department that's an R&D. Can we visit? Yeah, come in, please. <laughs> we hide all the secrets already. <laughs> Guys oh, are coding. Can, can you ex explain um, like the skills they have? They're able to do anything <laughs> anybody can imagine? or I hope they can do anything, but they c only can do something. <laughs> There's a limit <laughs> to what's possible. Definitely. He is uh, developing the uh, application software for, for Android. Can I have a look? Hi. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Hi. Okay. Hi. So, what are you working on? Uh, he is our uh, key developer and is a development. He is right now developing a Mac OS application software. Did you say Mac OS? Mac OS for Apple. All right. And also, he can he can do a C language uh, uh, programming for Windows, for um, Android. He knows a lot of things. Okay, it's just oh, one second. Let me just uh, yeah. Oh, it's power off. Okay. Okay. Right there. No problem. Okay, let's continue right there. <coughs> Here and I see some. He is one of the engineers who is uh, developing the application software for e uh, our cloud note we call. It. Nice. What is the software? Is it based on the Android or is it custom? Uh, it's a totally custom Android. And uh, uh, because of the specificity of the uh, pencil, so we have our own application for, for reader and the writer. Nice. You, because you want to have a smooth experience and a nice experience throughout the UI yeah. all over the place. The key, the key uh, is, the, is the pencil. Nice. Just <coughs> what do we see here? Actually, I don't know what he is doing. 你, driver? Which driver are you developing right now? It's a, it's a, uh, it's a for, uh, for, for, it's a, okay, it's a 
streaming uh, device for for car. Uh, while you 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 can put a TV tuner, uh, you can put put a TV tuner on your car. That is the panel of the car, and here is the um, uh, actually it's an Android based tablet with a TV tuner built in for Japanese market. Nice. Can we have a look what what kind of work he's doing? Okay. What could it be? What will you do? Okay, okay. It's a PDU. Yeah. PDU. What means PDU? Power distribution unit. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for showing. Okay. <coughs> it's debugging. What product for this? This is what? This is DS310. A panel. Uh, main panel is. Three, four, eight. Okay. It's a rock chip based, uh, thirty-five or sixty-eight based uh, system. He's uh, debugging. For a tablet, she is very cool. She, as a female, he can do coding. Nice. Xie <laughs> say hello. <laughs> Better than all the guys? Uh, no. <laughs> Same level. Okay. Cool. All right. Not yet. She she is uh, Im uh, improving. Hardware guys, can we have a visit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sure you're doing your job. All right. Ah, he he is also a software guy. That 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 part is hardware. All right. Oh, they're doing layout. How many layers? This is 几层板？呃，八层两阶板，毛麦孔两阶。Okay. Eight layers. Eight layers. Right. Blind uh, uh, via. <coughs> Small lab over there. Can Got we have a look at the lab? Or uh, yeah, yeah. Always <coughs> secret. No secret. So far. <laughs> They can do soldering by themselves. Hey. All right. With a nice view of the, on the mountains over here. Actually, I don't want to. The view is is too too beautiful because then they have no yeah. idea to walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you close the curtains a little bit. <laughs> but uh, may also to protect from the heat, I guess, or something. Yes. The sunlight. This is my room. Oh, nice. Big, but a little bit uh, empty. Can we have a view of the uh, look yeah. at the view? Yeah, please. All right. So here, you also have meetings with the customers. Mm. Uh, mostly uh, internal meetings. All right. Secret department. Financial. <laughs> this is uh, our product management department. Come in. They are all product managers. Yeah. He's uh, showing the. Raspberry yeah. Pi from Factor, running Linux. Oh, based on Rockchip 3588. So how's the Linux support going on? I think there's a lot of people that would be very excited, but by what's the status? It's ready to ship. Ready to ship. So 3588. Yes. Yes. And Debian. Yeah. Debian. Debian. And do you think all the 
the graphics acceleration is working smooth and everything. Yeah, that is the uh, important thing. The benchmark is very, very important. Let's say um, there's a potential customer out there who's got an idea and said they would really want to have a Debian rock chip laptop. Do you consider working with them? A good question. Actually, um, for technology side, no, no issue at all. But um, for the commercial part, he needs to talk to, uh, with our sales department. It depends on the volume, right? It needs to be big orders. If somebody can guarantee the big orders, then everything's possible. Orders in that and the target price. All right. Because that could be an alternative to the MacBook M1, I think. <laughs> Maybe much more affordable. That's a new, yeah. that's, it's a new market. It's okay to look what's happening here on the screen. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's okay. Yeah, he uh, he's doing yeah. the BOM bomb, bomb. Nice the bio of the material. Oh, that must be very secret, I guess. <laughs> not not very secret. How's it going with the bomb in uh, Shenzhen the last three four years? Are things getting uh, more expensive or more affordable or uh, hard to say? What you mean? Uh, like. Uh, in general, uh, there's been chip shortage before, right? But now it's finished? Uh, almost, but uh, still uh, the TI, the ADI, the, the NSP, the, the chipset, they have a uh, shortage. But um, AMLogic, Rockchip, the standard, no, gone. As many people want, they are it's available. They overbooked. <laughs> overbooked. <laughs> yes. Right. That, Work yes. this way? Yes. Here we, we see some... Uh, uh, tester, uh, they they use uh, uh, equipment uh, to uh, do the basic testing, um, the first level. Not very uh, deep testing. Nice. Just the basic. How about uh, customers that have their own engineer or software team, let's say in Germany, or how do they work with you? How's how does that work? Okay, we we use um, um, <coughs> um, like a red mine to do the project uh, tracking, and uh, uh, we can uh, uh, share the, uh, the code with the GitHub, and uh, we can provide them an uh, API SDK as well as a document and the sample source code. And if they, they want, uh, right now, in, in, uh, no lockdown at all, then the no COVID, then they can fly in, work together, sitting together for days or weeks. Right. Just in case they need. <coughs> this part, this department is a project management part. So just, uh, just now you ask a question, so how we can work with our customer if they are, they are outside China. So we have a project management team that team, they, they can uh, kick off a project and uh, collaborate with the customer um, for both sides, both development team. And they, then they, they move to uh, uh, deliver the final product or move to our factory for volume manufacturing for the customer. So how many years have you been working in this industry? Oof, good question. Nine, nine years, I think. Nine years. Yeah, um, but um, so you have all the the knowledge, the experience to know exactly how to manage a project and what is possible, what is not possible. And uh, I start my, uh, my my career for from a, um, a developer in a industry PC company. I worked there for five years. Then I set up, I left and I set up a company doing something else. Then right now I'm back. <laughs> All right. How would you say is the uh, status here in uh, Shenzhen? Um, it's just better than ever, faster. The economy is going up here. Picking up. Picking up? Yeah. And ready to pick up everybody else together, like with <laughs> the Shenzhen? Like. Uh, no, I, I think. Uh, uh, Many other city, cities are uh, right now are really following Shenzhen. They are competitors of Shenzhen. They, they try to learn from Shenzhen and they try to catch some good companies from Shenzhen. 
So actually, there's no rules, right, in China. If people want to do PCB design or hardware technology in any city they want in China, actually it happened also. But Shenzhen yeah. is just the best place to do it. Uh, right now, Shenzhen is the uh, still uh, is the best place, but uh, uh, the uh, the distance um, uh, between the other cities and Shenzhen are getting smaller and smaller, shorter and shorter. Okay, we are showing the Ubuntu running on top of RK thirty thirty five sixty eight. Here's nice. the desktop. Here's Jerry, the product Hi. manager. Hey. So you have uh, some guys working on it around here. Yeah. And uh, optimizing things. Would, would you say it's possible that we are at the place right now where there's the best Linux support <laughs> on Rockchip? <laughs> I try to be best, and uh, I, I don't want to say we are the best, but we are coming to, the, to be the best. So if there's projects happening with that, um, and people want to do a big project with this, then of course everything can be improved and improved on the way as it's being released, right? Uh, yes, and we, we, we can release that in the uh, alpha stage right now, and then we, we will improve to beta and then the final release. All right. Let's have a look there. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is okay. So what do we see here? Uh, Debian 10 on top of 3566 uh, show you the GPU performance. We are playing uh, a video, 720p. All right, so it's fully smooth video playback. That means you have full hardware accelerated video playback. And potentially, you can do the same video playback as on Android or anything else. Yeah, it should be a, a little bit better than the Android because it's a Linux. Ah, so maybe there's even better yeah. video support. Yeah. And you're actually also famous for doing HDMI capture and input and stuff like that. And yeah. uh, so you might do some project because I see these chips, these latest rock chips. They show some specs that are crazy. They can do, I don't know how many displays output, how many, yeah, many potential yeah. encode. Yeah, uh, 4K encoding, as well as um, 8K decoding with HDMI input, with EDP, uh, C, uh, I, um, DSi, uh, as well as LVDS, M many ports. Yes, they support a lot of different kinds of display ports. So in potential, you might be the ones that could take advantage of all this. Potentially. Yeah. Let's move okay. there. We okay. have uh, one. The best is Yima. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look there. <laughs> Those guys yeah. have a lot of uh, secret weapons. <laughs> nice. Is it here? That is uh, Deben 11. That is uh, Deben 10. That is uh, Deben 11 on top of us uh, RK3588. Nice. It'd be very uh, exciting to see. So you have also experience upstreaming back to the open source community. Mm -hmm. So do you often do that? Always do that? Or? Um, oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, it just needs to stay connected. Yeah. Yeah, very often to do the upstream. All right. Let's well. move to, uh, I will show you a new thing. Yeah. Follow me. Uh, let me introduce Joe to you. Hi. He is the project manager Maybe team uh, leader. On your t-shirt right here. Okay. Oh, okay. Hi. What you do here, uh, and you can show. For Jason Nano. Uh, yeah. NVIDIA Jason Nano. NVIDIA Jason Nano. Nano. Yeah. Carry board. Yeah, uh, carry board. And uh, it's a song. Yeah. It's a two, uh, two net. Yeah. Ethernet. Yeah. Yeah, two Ethernet. Yeah, and also uh, two uh, for M2 connector. One is for the SSD. One is for Wi-Fi or LTE or yeah, 5G. It's SIM card, LTE SIM card. Yeah, 
and uh, also HDMI one. Another thing is uh, 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 RS mm, two three two and RS uh, four eight five. Yeah, it's all come for the one inside. It's for uh, for market for robot for face recognition. Yeah, <laughs> nice. it's, uh, yeah. It's a powerful board right here. Huh? Yeah, to play yeah. with. Yeah, a lot uh, of potential performance. Performance that you can bring out. Yeah, and and it's, it's also support both uh, for Jason Nano and also Jason Xavier NX. Yeah, and also the NX as a, a performance AI performance is twenty one tops. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, and nice. Nano is one one T. Yeah, one T and tops. Yeah. Mm. So. So this platform has robotics as a potential uh, yeah. market. Yes. So amazing robotics. Yes, I mean, yes. And more yeah. performance. Yes, All right. yeah, very high performance, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm. All right, yeah. thanks a lot. Welcome.